So, why do stupid people think that they're smart and are so confident? You all have that uncle or a friend, me included, I guess, um, who shows up at a family gathering or party, has a drink or two, and starts a heated conversation about a topic they clearly don't know very much about, but are very opinionated and stubborn about telling everybody else how wrong they are or they don't get it. And they seem to have the authority on the subject. <laughs> resulting in annoying everyone at the very least <laughs> besides we all live in a trump era right now and we've all become witnesses of the daily dose of i know the most of everyone else about international relations about building walls about healthcare, our president standing um, statement is basically whatever you tell him about, whatever you ask him about, he knows the most of anybody else about that particular issue. <laughs> and yeah, lots of us are annoyed at this, right? So why is it that people who know very little about something, obviously very little about something, they think they're smart, they think they know more than they do, and they're very confident. So two psychologists, social psychologists, I think in the 90s, um, curious about that phenomena, devised an experiment, recruited a whole bunch of college students, and put them through... Um, three tasks to evaluate their cognitive ability on writing skills, grammar specifically, grammatical writing skills, um, logical performance, uh, and then their uh, sense of humor. And then scored the tests to see how each student performed and asked each student to estimate how they did. They found the people who scored the worst felt that they were they did above average in relation to others and they overwhelmingly overestimated their overall scores. At the same time, the people who scored at the top of the ranking, the highest ranking people, made a different error. They properly estimated themselves to have scored above average, but they underestimated their overall score. Their reasoning for that was because they found the test to be rather easy, the tests, the three tests to be rather easy, and they assumed that if it was easy for them, it must have been easy for everyone else, which led to being conservative about their overall scores. It turns out the people who do the worst, understand the least, and know the least uh, seem to be pretty confident about how they do. And it's not just them, but it turns out it's kind of like all of us do the same thing. This is known as the Dunning-Kruger effect. That's because the two psychologists who did this experiment were Dunning and Kruger. It's a universal... Thing. Turns out we all tend to overestimate what we can do, we overestimate our knowledge. In fact, as an example, 88% of driving adults rank themselves above average when asked how their driving skills are. Well, you can't have 88% of the population be above average <laughs> against the laws of mathematics. And in that 88% are included elderly individuals who are just about to have their license revoked because they can't no longer pass their tests. So, we're notorious for overestimating what we know and levels our levels of ability. 
What this psychologist found out also is that not only the least you know, the more confident you are, but as you start to learn more about a subject, a topic, your confidence level actually goes down and it goes back up again when you reach the expert level in whatever that is on an issue um, and a skill set, whatever. As you reach the expert level, your confidence increases again. So, an interesting finding. Why is it, you ask? It's very simple. Turns out, when you don't know what you don't know, you feel pretty good about what you do know. <laughs> so... <laughs> You're not aware of what there is to know, so you can't compare your knowledge, your skill set to the totality of what there is to know. So in your subjective experience, you feel like you have a lot. You have a lot of knowledge, you have a lot of skill. So therefore, you're confident. And as you start to learn more about a subject or a topic or an issue, and you start to realize how much there is actually to know about it, your confidence level goes down because now you compare your knowledge base, your skill set to what you have now discovered is a vast amount of more information, more knowledge than you initially expected. So naturally, your confidence level goes down. And as you delve deeper into these issues or topics or whatever, you become an expert, your confidence is now born from that expertise. But there's a clear difference between confidence from expertise and confidence from stupidity, right? Um, while the stupid person being overly confident and argumentative about something they know very little about is a knowing an expert is enthralling. You are listening, you're paying attention, you want to learn from them. They clearly know their stuff. So, turns out, ignorance is not only bliss, but leads to confidence. <laughs> And people are not crazy, they're not on drugs, they're just misinformed and they subjectively feel like they got this when they don't and many around them are aware of it. So their self-awareness is so poor that they don't realize their error. They don't realize how ignorant they are. Therefore, they're confident. <laughs> it's funny. But not so funny when you're running a country. <laughs> and turns out the condition is curable for those who wish to cure it. Simply learn more. Educate yourself. Hit the books, the internet, whatever. Go to school. Mingle with experts. Learn from others. Listen. Listen. Above all, know that probably you don't know. <laughs> it's like a little uh, Zen koan. <laughs> How do you know that you don't know? <laughs> How do you know that you don't know? Well, you don't need to know everything. You just need to know that you don't know everything. Very simple. Be self-aware. Question your skills, question your level of ability, question your knowledge so that you have room for more. For you have, You're making space, you're allowing for the fact that you might be pretty ignorant about a subject. Or maybe you're more knowledgeable than above average, but still there's so much more to learn, right? So the Dunning-Kruger effect is responsible for stupid people acting confidently and basically portraying themselves as if they know what's up. But they're also confusing to some of the experts because to get to a level of expertise, you've done a lot of homework, you've done a lot of learning and 
experiencing. So you're more humble, even though you're confident in what you know, you also know that there's probably more to learn. So when you bump into a self-appointed expert who's actually not an expert and it's pretty ignorant, but very confident and convincing, the actual expert might for at least a while um, look up to the other person thinking that they know more than they actually do. So they can be tricky. But usually they're just annoying. Stupid people who think they're smart end up being just annoying. Well, that's how it works. The Dunning-Kruger effect. Remember that next time you feel overly confident about something you know and you feel that you have to argue a topic and you don't really know what you're talking about or it's very little that you know. <laughs> Think about it. Meanwhile, give me the thumbs up if you like this video. If it was useful, interesting, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. It lets YouTube know that this is valuable stuff and shows it to others. And with that, I'll see you next time. Bye.